What is going on everybody? I am Benningfield. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoy this video, press that like button. And as always, follow me on Twitter at Benningfield01. We always post when a live stream starts and new video drops. Now today I'm doing an updated version of a movie car build that I had done before, the Back to the Future car. I am super hyped about this car. I'm glad that we actually got a genuine copy of the DeLorean in-game with the Deluxo. Now, if you want to build this car, I'm not going to focus on all the other stuff that it has to offer. It has weapons and stuff, but you can't just customize that in a regular place. So we're just going to cover the cosmetics parts of it. But yeah, first bring up your phone, go to the internet. It is under war stock. Now the buy it now price is 4.7 million, but if you do you're, uh, you have to host it, and if you do the first uh, prep mission and the setup mission that has the, that incorporates the Deluxo, you get the discount price, which is three million five hundred fifty thousand. Uh, that does require owning a facility and all that stuff, but uh, we'll just get into the customization of it. We're gonna knock this one out. You can take it to your office garage workshop or any Los Santos Customs, or if you do on the facility you, and the Avenger, you can customize it in the Avenger or also your MOC truck. So there's a lot of options. Uh, you does require the MOC truck or the Avenger, one or the other, if you wanna add the weapons to it, but we're not covering that anyway. But yeah, armor and brakes and engine, that doesn't matter. For the exhaust, I went with the oval exhaust. So knock that out with the oval exhaust. You do not want explosions. Front bumper, you want the aftermarket bumper. He didn't have the uh, little turn and signal lights on there. And he didn't have all the extended color on the bumper down to the bottom. So just go with the aftermarket bumper. For the grill, you want to stay with the stock grill because it did have just the straight line grill with the emblem in the middle. So stay with stock grill. Again, for the hood, you want stock hood. It didn't have any kind of vents and it didn't have uh, carbon fibers will stay with the stock hood horn doesn't matter for the lights I always do the xenon I believe they look better and for your neon kits go in a neon layout you want front back and side and for your neon color you want the electric blue back on out lost that doesn't matter because you purchased it now for the plate this is a fun little extra option go with the blue and white and I made a custom plate through my iFruit app out of time that is the license plate they had at the beginning of the movie and if you want to try to make one that's like a barcode looking that's what they had in later in the later movies but uh, I, I like the out of time one so that's the one I went with for your respray your primary color you want to go down to metals and go to the brushed steel back out for secondary colors you want to again go to metals but this time go to brushed black steel that does the back end and the little tip on the front and your in the uh, skirts that we're going to get to here in a minute and for your trim color that does the inside go with the graphite it just had a, the basic black or graphite either one to work I just like the look of the graphite better and back on out you do not want to sell skirts go down to the secondary vintage skirts and for your spoiler uh, it had that funky back end on it obviously from back to the future um, I went with the tailgate spoiler. I think it just added a little bit to it without without getting nothing too like it didn't have to really have a spoiler spoiler on it. So I just think the tailgate spoiler looks really nice on there. Kind of gives a little lifted back in. I wish you could add those big vents on the back, but unfortunately you cannot. Transmission and turbo is up to you. Um, for the wheels, now there's a couple options. You can stay going to with the stock tires. They are what was on the De DeLorean at the beginning of the movie. But if you wanted to go with, like later in the movie, they had the white walls on them. You can go into the low rider stock rims and go down to, where was it? Uh, classic rod. You can buy those. Go to wheel color. They were red. And then go to tires and you could add the white walls on it. That gives it the look that it had whenever they had to replace the tires on it, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but I, for me personally, I'm going to stick with the the standard stock rims, so I'm going to go back to mine. But that is another option you have. And for the windows, you want to go with the uh, limo tint. And for your tires, I do suggest the bulletproof tires. You're going to be driving around a free mode, but that's completely up to you. And tire smoke doesn't really matter. Uh, I guess you could add like a, a red or whatever, or an orange, just because it, it left the flames behind it whenever you were driving it. But that is completely up to you that does not really affect the looks of it but now now we have the new updated version of 
the Back to the Future DeLorean. And as a huge added bonus, as if you, sh you should already know this, but you just click your X button and it goes into hover mode just like in the movie. You can float around, hover it where we're going. We don't need roads. Then while you're hovering around, you just pull back on your D-pad and then you can actually extend your wings and take off and fly. Just like it did in the movie. So where you're going, you don't need roads, guys. But I appreciate everybody coming out and I hope you enjoyed the new updated version of the DeLorean in GTA. Now, if you uh, would like a cheaper option, you could go back and watch my old video on it. And also on that old video, I have the tutorial. I have Marty McFly's outfit. I have the tutorial. You can just look at it here and try to piece it together. Or you can go back and watch the old video and I actually go through the actual steps at the end of the video on how to make this matching outfit for the movie theme. But I appreciate you guys coming out. I am Benning Field. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, press that like button and follow me on Twitter at BenningField01. We always post when a live stream starts or a new video drops. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.